in, drops that bomb. I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna get pause and get right in close. Look at this. Here we go. This bad boy going straight for that unit. Oh, what just happened? What was that? <laughs> Welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. My name is Crow, and today we have a whole whole load of brand new units some of which you may have seen before but many of which are brand new in the modernization faction mod these are tanks like straight up you could see these lying out in the street tanks now they're a little wobbly a little wonky a little awkward a little halfway dug into the ground but don't worry about it they're exceptionally effective and we're going to test them against these unsuspecting medieval people who have never in their life seen anything quite like this let's see what happens when the uh, tanks roll in and take <laughs> their shots oh i thought it was true what um um a, a tank just just dove into the ground there's, there's 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 an underground shark tank have you guys ever seen an underground shark tank is there any way to see it nope it, it's gone it it just disappeared dove into the ground oh, no it's coming up it's gonna fight the angles of this poor archer you can see the nose or maybe the fin of the shark tank as it comes up out of the ground <laughs> now obviously you've got tanks and helicopters and planes and stuff like that but you also have regular units this is the battlefield medic guys he's supposed to be a healer of sorts is he better than the old priest healer now we're gonna find out just how good this old battle medic is as he tries to keep his squad alive versus an enemy squad and so far he does not need to do any healing the fight commences and he's oh there you go he needs to be point blank to heal the guys which kind of makes sense right he's applying bandages he's applying other types of healing items and quite handedly our squires handled all the other squires but what are these beams of light coming out of him um that's are those weird like injections kind of awkward looking so obviously you have the combat medic but you also have the combat personnel wielding these amazing sunshades because that's what you look at when you look at a unit you check out their cool sunglasses because sunglasses are cool disregard the fact that they're wielding ar-15s after all so we're gonna have these ar-15 wielders and we're gonna pit them against my favorite unit of all time which is the berserker we've got a berserker army over there i want to see if they can close the distance on our oh 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 some did some got in there. Get in there and beat up those AR-15s that need to reload. See, the reloading is their downside. And in fact, the Berserkers are better than the AR-15s because you gotta reload. But the, the Berserker, the Berserker doesn't need to reload Axe. Now, one of the recent changes to the mod is this unit right here, the Flamethrower unit, who is amazing looking. But apparently, according to the patch notes, the flamethrowers explode upon death. Something we're going to test versus a whole bunch of ninjas. Because I know you're excited about ninjas versus flamethrowers. In 3, 2, 1, go. In go the flamethrowers blowing fire. Oh, 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 maybe ninjas weren't good enough. <laughs> ninjas didn't do the job. I need them to explode, guys. Instead of ninjas, we have Artemis. Now we're cooking with gas, literally, because flamethrowers are filled with gas. I need one of them to die. I'm waiting for the moment that they explode, but um, they have a lot of HP, and they're they're about to light the Artemis is on fire. Don't 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 light my Artemis is on fire. I don't care how much body armor you have. If you are hit with this many arrows that pierce your arm and pierce your torso, you're not supposed to live. But for some reason, the flamethrower guys have a bajillion HP. Oh 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 oh! Look look! I see an explosion. That guy exploded. Wait for it. Wait for it. Boom! Right there. They explode on death. That is so cool. <laughs> yes. And the Artemises are on fire, but apparently they're immune to fire. So we have these guys that are immune to arrows and those guys that are immune to fire. And the explosion on death is phenomenal. That is so cool looking. I love it. One of the recent additions to this lovely mod is this right here, the F-16. But actually on top of its normal attacks of bombs and, and bolts and stuff, they've given him guided missiles in a very recent patch i'm actually going to take control of the f-16 in just a second but first i want to see it at work against a whole boatload of hobbits oh my god oh is this the guided missile look at that interesting hold on it's guided can i control it we'll find out in a second let's let it run oh it just dove in there and exploded those hobbits this f-16 is insanely powerful look at that bullets are firing i believe it's firing off bullet rounds let me just get in here and take a look 
I'm trying to find the bullets. I'm pretty sure it's shooting. Yep, yep, yep. There it is. I found it. I found it. As you can see, it is firing bullet rounds at the hobbits, but it's not aiming very well. In fact, the bullets aren't even hitting the hobbits. This F-16 needs to work on its aim, but luckily the explosives do the job as the hobbits go absolutely flying. So give me... No, hold on. Oh, not fire. No, the bullet... The guns are automatically firing. I can't stop. Left mouse button. Left mouse button. Right mouse button. Um, I can't stop. I can't stop. The missiles are absolutely firing on their own. There's no way to control this thing. Why does it have eyes? That is so creepy. Now it's something I want to see very badly. How about 6v6? F16 versus F6. Oh, dude. The explosions are insane. But for some reason, these guys have a lot of HP. And they're not about to die anytime soon. This is crazy looking. These explosions are magnificent. The F-16 is getting caught on the old ancient architecture. Bomb after bomb, bullet after bullet. But for some reason, these things have a ton of HP and they're not about to die, even though um, one of them stuck. I can't tell if this F-16 is dead or stuck, but it's still being shot at, so I think it's not dead yet. Yeah, I don't know who's gonna win this, but this is definitely one of the cooler fights we've seen in a while. Another new unit that they've added is this B-2 bomber. As a fan of the military, as a fan of the Air Force as a kid, the B-2 bomber always fascinated me. The shape the design, everything about it. People like to claim that aliens designed it. I didn't think so. But I want to see what the totally accurate battle simulator version of the B-2 bomber does in three, two, one, go. Full speed, it's gliding in. And there's the bombs. Oh, yes, please. <gasps> yeah, it's so cool. Not accurate. But then again, this is totally accurate battle simulator. And the B-2 bomber is doing some crazy flying around. I want to see another pass of bombing. If, if, if. If the B-2 could just, you know, j drop, drop the payload. It seems to be circling around the outside perimeter. Oh, got more bombs, got more random bombs. But where is, is it shooting bullets? What is it doing? Where's the payload? You have, you dropped one payload. Where's the next one? These farmers haven't even moved. The B-2 is a bit of an awkward design. Needs a little bit of uh, accuracy training. Oh, whole new payload. Here we go. But last, not going to hit it. This guy can't hit a stationary farmer target. That B2 needs a lot of work. Now, to add to our flying repertoire, we also have an attack helicopter and a transport helicopter. Here's the attack helicopter firing at the rear transport helicopters. And the transport helicopters are dropping in units, different gun units, Uzi units, bombast units, minigun units, and the bombs are launching. <laughs> All the attack helicopters are getting really up close and personal right now. Bullets are flying in every single direction. The transport helicopters are being attacked and shot out of the sky. In fact, this one might have just been destroyed. But now we also have ground units coming in and attacking the attack helicopters with miniguns, with AK-47s, with Uzis, with M16s, etc. And the ground units, you actually see the bullets flying through the sky, going after the helicopters and going after the other melee units. All the transport helicopters seem to be on the ground. And now all we have left are attack helicopters, which are finally going down. Two, three attack helicopters have gone down. Bombs are flying, bullets are flying, explosions everywhere. Multiple attack helicopters on the ground. It seems to be 2v1 and whatever. Has, oh, 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 oh. We have one side of victory attack helicopters attacking the ground units. Is this the end? Are we about to declare a victor as the attack helicopters bomb the living daylights out of blue? Red team has won. That was so cool. Now, considering all these brand new flying units that we have in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, it would be unfair if they were left unchecked. So they've included some surface to air missile units. We've got this amazing guy who's about to fire out some amazing powerful guided missiles, and then the full-on automatic guided missile attack systems. Let's see how good they are against helicopters in three, two, one, go. Here we are aiming, and as you can see, multiple guided missiles have been fired. However, the helicopters are also firing their own missiles. Are they gonna hit their targets? Missiles seem to have gone a little wide and are not very accurate. Lots of explosions. Some of the anti-air has been destroyed, but look at these helicopters getting completely wrecked by the guided missiles. Huge explosions, lots of damage, even more guided missiles. In fact, I want to try and take control of a guided missile. This one right here. Can I please? I like to control of a guided missile. I'm a missile. 
That's so cool. I want to take control of this missile. Hold on, hold on. Fire. Fire the guided missile. Come on, come on, come on. Give it to me. Yes, I am the guided missile. Let's try. Oh man, I didn't even get a chance to shoot. Okay, we need more units. I'm going to hide some lieutenants over there. Give me my guided missile. I want to go blow up that helicopter. Yes. Yes. Go. Go. How do I? How do I? How do I blow up a helicopter? I can't. How do I? I want to get in the helicopter. Come here. I want to shoot you. I want to go oh, falling into the water. Yes. <laughs> so much fun. Another cool thing about this mod is you can actually make custom map units with these different kinds of walls. For example, this concrete wall right here or this spiked barricade over here. And on top of that, we also have AK-47 units and then these other machine gun units with a fancy machine gun name that I seriously cannot remember. Let's see how well they work together with the barricades in 3, 2, 1, go. Full speed, they seem to be pretty much ignoring their barricade and walking around it. These guys are kind of using the barricade as cover. I love this guy, look at him. Perfect half cover from the barricade. Complete protection from the people on the right, firing on these guys on the left. And these machine guns are making short work of the AK-47 units. Actually, we're pretty much down to a one-on-one -on -one here. Nope, it's a two-on-one. -on -one. And is this person actually shooting through the barricade or trying to? I was hoping that it would actually stop line of sight, but it seems like that might not be the case as this bullet is clearly on trajectory from this side of this wall. Physically, it has a collision detection, but for the bullets, not so much. Another unit that we have is the RPGs on the left and the grenade throwers on the right. RPGs are going in. I just kind of want to see what's about to happen. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Grenades go in and they completely wipe out this line as well. And it seems like the grenade launchers one did they have a superior explosion or did some of the missiles go towards the back and miss the grenade throwers that's very awkward hence the grenade throwers being completely victorious another sky unit another flying unit we have the drone the unmanned drone i get the funny feeling this thing's going to be dropping these lovely bombs here as its payload the drone looks phenomenal let's see how well she flies and bombs these what? The, the, the drone just killed itself? The drone just killed itself? I threw some clubbers on the rear there to confirm. Bomb goes down. The drone is continuing to live. Okay, this drone is surviving. How did it kill itself last time? Is it going to fire again? I mean, this drone, you got to protect your clubbers. They're about to get completely clubbed to death if you don't drop a bomb. Unless it's dead. Oh no, there it is. Here comes the bombs. Exploded a blue one again because for some strange reason... The drone continues to bomb itself. Now, this is an interesting fight. This guy apparently is an airstrike caller. You can tell by the microphone, by the handset right there. He calls in the airstrike. And oh my god, as you can see, the airstrike is occurring. But from where? There's no plate. The airstrike's just happening. It's just occurring. And I don't know what's causing it. There's a secret invisible plate <laughs> causing the airstrike. You better use your pistol and shoot down these other stragglers. There you go. Shoot that clubber in the head. You've got an airstrike caller. Let's go. I totally forgot about this surface to air missile. This is the Pac-13. Look at this truck dragging around this thing that has floating eyes right there. Just, just staring creepily into the distance. Is this a very good anti-air? We're about to find out. Guided missiles? Yep. A fire guide. Oh. Oh. <laughs> they fired the guided missiles. But they were not fast enough to stop the F-16s from doing their, 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 their thing, right? I mean, just like disgusting. Now, another one of these amazing new units is the Blackbird. The SR-71 Blackboard, which is another stealth unit one of my favorites from my childhood i loved the look of this thing and we're gonna pit it against the uh, missile launchers i want to see if it's actually able to not be targeted by the guided missile systems because obviously these kinds of stealth planes should not be able to be targeted by radar because that's kind of how they decide so logically if you think about it logically the guided missiles should not be able to hit this beautiful blackbird let's see what happens in three two one go Blackbird moves in, drops that bomb. I'm going to pause. I'm going to pause and get right in close. Look at this. Here we go. This bad boy going straight for that unit. Oh, what just happened? What was that? Is that a nuclear explosion? Did they make a nuclear bomb? 
ladies and gentlemen, if you excuse me, I'm just going to put a clubber up here so that there's not an instant death. Okay, so now the blue side, the non-bomber side has a clubber way over there in the distance. Let's watch this nuclear explosion one more time. There it is. There's the nuke. I'm going to watch it in slow motion. Hits the target. Blue victory. Wait a minute. Did the bomb? Did the blood? Did the bird? Did, did it just blow up itself? Hold on. Okay, I'm also going to put a clubber over here on the red side. Let's watch this one more time. You mean to tell me that this lovely bomb is blowing up its own unit? <gasps> it did, but look at the size. That is the biggest explosion we've ever seen in this game. You can see these units being launched in the distance. The Blackbird launched in the distance. Oh, hold on. Oh my God, the explosion's still going? That's a full-on nuclear explosion! To demonstrate the power of the explosion, I'm actually gonna put a whole bunch of clubbers on the field and we're about to watch them go. You can see the tiny little bomb go down, drop, and wipe out. Look how far those armies were sent flying and the explosion continues to go and continues to erupt. That is the single most powerful explosion we've ever seen in totally accurate battle simulator it just keeps going full speed look at that that's crazy i just just how do you top that